Once again, we're bringing you to you live from the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. This hardly happens while we're taking boxing away from the Bukum Boxing Arena. A serene environment here at the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. And it's GTV Sports Plus that is making it possible for you to watch it at the comfort of your home. This is local boxing built at La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. I can see Amate getting closer to me. I will personally ask Amate what really happened. Because the gentleman has stopped limping. Amatete. Somebody is whispering and telling me that when fatigue sets in, sometimes you don't know, your arms will refuse to respond. Your legs will be limping. Amatete for you. We live to talk about Amatete again. Presence of elite dancer, artist, heat maker of enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Jupiter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once more, this fight is a soup, a lightweight heavy, light heavyweight contest of six rounds between Ahmed Abdullah and Jibs O. From the red corner, he tipped the scale at 176.8 pounds. He had had two fights, one or two, one by way of knockout. He spotted in white shorts, black canvas, white socks to match. From the fifth square gym, Ahmed Abdullah. Across the ring to the blue corner. He's also spotted in black shorts, white socks and black canvas to match. He tipped the scale at 177.3 pounds and from the Charles Quarty Boxing Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, James O. Judges of this particular fight, Richard Amevi, Erasmus O, Me Mesa Akaku. And when the sound of the ring, the bell goes, the man in charge in the ring Michael Nikwe. All right, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. And whatever I say, you must obey. Touch gloves. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you the light heavyweight contest. Hardly do we see our boxers in that weight category we don't have enough of them in that division but today ahmed abdullahi who looks round taller than one. his opponent in terms of reach he resembles a football striker a striker a number nine a typical number nine playing in the division one football ahmed abdullahi in the white strand james o in the blue and white strands If it were to be football, we will call Abdullahi the striker with purpose. He can be the Peter Crouch of our time. And then maybe James O will be Pablo Aima of our time. This is a light heavyweight contest. A light heavyweight contest. Abdullahi and James trying to really size each other up. It's a six round contest and the energy in the opening minutes. If it is anything to go by, then we are in for a great spectacle. If you just tune in, Ahmed Abdullahi 
is in the white trunks. The energy these two pugilists are exuding. If they have enough in their reserve, it will be a plus for them. Trying to tell the crowd that they are well conditioned and so they can go. Can James O take advantage of his stature in the ring? Or Abdullah will use his reach, his quality reach? Because I remember when Ganes Isaac Dubey met with that beast. That is Navarrete. Navarrete used his height as an advantage and pummeled Isaac Dugby on two occasions. Can Abdullah, with the reach, with the height, really make life very, very uncomfortable for James Owu? It's a big question that needs a big answer from their ring craft. And saved by the bell. Light heavyweight contest. And the boxes are doing what they know how to do best. <laughs> Remember, you are watching the comfort of your home by kindness of GTV Sports Plus, the only dedicated 24 hour sports channel in GH. If you're loving it, join us on our social media handles. If you're a corporate and you want to join us, partner with us. Just get to G Plus Plus and have a connection to you. Get your product and we will sell it to you, for you. These are some of the highlights from 1 1. Ahmed in the all white trunks and James in the blue and black trunks. Strong start for Ahmed. James comes in. It is a give and take affair here. The box is still trying to find loopholes. James is using his height. And the type of erratic punches, these are punches that when it lands on you, it will send you straight to the canvas. And that's uh, the punches that James is trying to unleash. But for Abdullah, I don't know. But James is on the canvas. He says, he says this one, dear. This one, dear. I won't do it. His posturing alone tells us that I can't fight. And so what was supposed to last for six rounds just ended in round two. Another TKO recorded on the night. Ahmed Abdullah records a TKO. Just watch it again. After throwing Iraq punches, Abdullah decided that I'll get you at the corner. And then unleash two, three, four, five. And the gentleman just wanted to go on the knees and was resting comfortably on GTV Sports Plus logo. 
and saying, Sports Plus, rescue me. Come to my rescue. And so, James O. Up, gives up so early, doesn't want to be punished. According to him, he's a fine boy, he has a fine face. He can live and fight another day. So, he borrowed the song, this popular song, I won't kill myself, oh. I won't kill myself. And so he has given up. Giving Referee Michael Nikwe the easiest of jobs to just call it off. Just watch him. Fine gentleman. Decided to take to the sports of boxing. He doesn't want his face to be destroyed by a tall, by a lanky Abdul Ahmed. He says, I will come back when I'm well prepared. For now, I am not in the best of shape. Let me give up. This is the champion, the winner, Ahmed Abdullahi. A boxer with a swag who has decided to change the color of his hair just for this night. Ahmed Abdullah. He still has energy and he's even looking at the ring announcer that if you give me another opportunity, I will fight.